Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this angular part, we will talk about components. So these are the points. First of all, we will learn what is component, how we can make a component, how we can use them, and at the last, we will discuss some interview questions related to components. So now here we have a first question. What is components? So components are the building blocks of our application that are used to develop any specific feature or functionality. For example, you want to make a header uh, in our uh, website or application. That time you can create a component and write your your header code inside that component. So now you may have some another question like why I have to create a component? Why I cannot make it with the normal page? So see, whenever you can create a component, you can easily reuse it. For example, in your application, you have ten pages. For example, home page, uh, message page, login page, logout page, uh, about us page, contact us, lots of pages, right? So that time uh, you will find that uh, header is same for all pages. So this is a very bad idea to write the uh, header code in every file. So what we can do here, we can create a component of header file and we can reuse it in all files, right? This is the best way because we just write our header code once and use it ten time. All right. So now you just I hope you understand the theoretical part. What is component? Why we need it and all. So now now let's see that how header is uh, how a component is look like. In every component we have four files. One is CSS file. Second one is HTML file. Third one is PEC file and TS file. As you know, CSS file is used for style. HTML for write the your uh, HTML codes. Spec is used for testing your component and functions and all. And TS file here we write our code for uh, logical logical code. Here we can write we can write here uh, dynamic data and here we can call APIs and all right. And we can create our functions and properties and everything that you want to do with the TS you can write here for your component. All right. So now we have next question: How we can create a component? So let's open a terminal. You can use any terminal. You can use your code editor terminal or your basic command line of your uh, operating system and whatever you want. So here, just simply write here ng generate your component. And after that, just put your component name. So let's say my component name is user list. And just hit here. Whenever you will hit it, you will find that four new file is created, and in module file you just find some changes. I can show you. You can see that four files, uh, HTML, spec, TS, and CSS is created and updated the app dot module dot TS file. Because whenever you will make your component, we have to register it inside our module file, right? So what are the module? I will create a separate video on it because this is a also a big topic. So we can make a different video for that. So here you can see that Angular automatically import it and register it inside declaration. All right. Now we just get to know that how a component is created. You can create one more component with the same way. Let's say just write here ng generate and a component. And component name. Let's say my component name is login, or let's say header, right? And we can just hit it, and now you will find that we got a one more component. Here we go, right? Again, we have four uh, uh, files is created, and in fifth file we again have changes, and now you will find that with the user list header is also imported here and used inside declaration. So see, there is a short command also for create a component. In last time we created, we use the ng generate component header. So you can use your ng g for generate, c for component, and your file name. Let's say footer, like this, and it will work as the same. You will find that four file is created, and we have just changed in fifth file with the same way. And now footer file is also imported here and used here. So now the thing is how we can use these components, right? We know that how we can create them, but how we can use this component? First thing you have to know that where we have to use it. So let's say you just want to show this component here, 
right so what you can do just go to the uh, app dot component dot dot html file this is the root component so here you want to show the component which component you want to show here let's say you want to show here header right so you just have to simply put here app header just close it and uh, uh, now whenever you will open it on your browser you will see that header works so this text is coming from i can show you from the header uh, component so header again have some files and in header dot component dot html we have this text so even we can change it with the h2 tag so that we can just check it out properly and here you can see that this is also working fine all right great so how do i know that i have to just write here app header right see whenever you will just open your components header dot component dot ts file you will find the selector and you have to use this selector as a tag even if you just make any change let's say header uh, cmp that means component if you just simply write that one then how you can use it so just simply have to go inside your uh, app and now you can change the cmp here also right with this one so this this is totally depend on your selector so whatever your selector name you just use it as a html tag and it will be working fine here you can see that this is still working fine all right so can i reuse it yes definitely you can reuse it let's op just use it in the same file and for a moment we don't have um, much pages and routing and all otherwise i can show you that how you can use it in the different different files but in the upcoming video i will show you and we use it four time and you will find that we have a four time header works all right so how we can use the another component so let's say app i just want to just uh, sh uh, show here user list so app and our component name user list and we can just close it and now you will find that we got our user list header here and inside it we can write our call code whatever you want to write here for example inside uh, let me let me open it and in html page you can just add here a ul right and after that just add here li and you can put here some list let's say peter after that we can add some more let's say bruce tony and all right and here you can see that this list is coming here and we can use this list in anywhere in application like uh, for example whenever we have a big page we can use this list here there and whatever wherever we want so this is the actual use and reuse of uh, our component so now we have interview question so see first interview question can be asked that can we change our component name uh, for uh, use it or you can say that they can be change the component name as a tag yes we can change if we just change inside our uh, component selector we can change it so can we uh, change our html and css files also yes you can make any name of your html and css file and load there for a template url and style url right so let's say in header header component i just change this name of css file let's say uh, file header or uh, app header and anything and i just define the same name here and it will same name here in style url and it will definitely work okay so again uh, in interviews they can be asked that uh, what should be a length of any component how many lines of code we have to write inside a component see there is no parameter to tell that how many codes we have to write inside a component right but keep in mind try to make your component as small as possible i can just give you example for example you just want to create a uh, header and you just created the uh, component for it that's working fine there is a no issue you can use it in the home page and um, uh, lots of other pages also that's really great but some day just kind come back and just say that hey uh, um, anil there is some menus just use these menus on side your footer or uh, in the left side or right side of your application right so how we will we will use that for that you will create a different component obviously 
right and use them but what actually happened what you, you need to do when you just created your header component for that you have to create three components one is header component second one is search component and third one is menu component right and just declare the header component and include two more component inside it let's say search components and menus component and after that you have separate component for menus and search and let's say any client or uh, whenever your requirement is changed someone tell that uh, you can uh, you have to use this search component inside uh, on a right side or left side on the footer or you have to use these menus in anywhere else then you can easily use them because you already have a separate component for them right and uh, obviously code is also uh, good managed by the component because we have the separate chunks it's like a wall and uh, components are like a uh, bricks of our uh, wall right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video